video we will understand the Django project structure. So let's get started with our VS code. Now we will start making project by using the command Django admin start project whose name will be my project. It created a my project folder here which contains an inner folder of my project and a manage.py file. In my project there is init.py which will contain the python packages and asgi.py settings.py which will have the all configurations like access to our databases etc etc urls.py it will have some urls will contain some urls and will manage all the urls accordingly and next one is wsgi.py it will handle the wsgi configuration the last one is manage.py file which will in the main my project folder this manage.py file will act as a command line utility to interact with the packages inside the my project file folder okay so it will manage.py will be the main command line utility for the project for our entire project so there is some content over here already in these files like you can see here uh, we will modify accordingly uh, our uh, according to our needs now moving ahead with by making an app also using Django we will use the command Django admin not exactly this command but it will be python manage dot py start app and the app name will be app only let's start so there is no such file or directory in manage.py okay so for i have to make cd my project then it will go in the my project folder and i am will now do python manage.py start app by name app now there is another folder whose name is app over here and you can see the similar files in these folders like init.py which will initialize the python package and which will link our project with the python packages admin.py which will have all the controls to uh, control the basic databases etc models.py which will have all the uh, all the needy models for our app and next one is test.py models.py will do uh, like registering the model with the server and uh, next one is dot admin.py what do this do admin.py will uh, contain uh, you can see here from zengo.contrib this is a module and this is a respective library it will import and library admin now it will register your models next one is views.py what will it do views.py will uh, render it yeah, will contain all the logics and the requests from the server will hold all the requests and it will create your views here okay so these are the two folders which i have created in my my project and these are the predefined like just i just run the command and these two folders were created by themselves this is a feature of zengo now moving ahead what if i want to run my development server or what if i want to set up my app in order to register my app i should go in my project folder and in settings.py i will see this file and in this file i have to make changes over here like installed apps i should or i have an app by name app itself i have created right now fine so now i can run my server like python if i want to run my server this is python manage.py run server this is the command these are some basic commands you should, you should uh, remember these commands for future purposes like if i run this command then i will see and there are some sort of error no there is no error it has created a development server at this link now i will just have i will just have to move over this link 
um, by hovering over it you will see follow link and I will click over it and now it is showing that uh, the our Zango server is running very running successfully uh, that's it and uh, we have set up a Zengo server that's, the, that's very basic and the main purpose of this video was to make you aware about the files what these files actually do so these files nothing but these are the uh, these are the almost similar files in both these projects like in my project and in the app crash etc and that's it for this video i hope you understand the concept thank you thank you so much